Hi friends, this is the second video of two videos that I'm doing about um, prophecies that I've received that are now coming to the world stage basically, that are becoming very, very relevant right now, okay, currently. So I want to, um, I want to uh, bring you, your attention to another prophecy that I received um, on the 28th of September 2019. These are, All these prophecies were around in 2019, okay. Civil rest in Obama 1, it's called, okay. I have a video about this, but I'm going to read it to you because it's, it's really relevant to what's going on right now, okay. So let me just jump in and I'll discuss it with you, okay. So I felt the Lord say, Iran is waking up. And I was seeing the face of their bearded leader going to and fro with his cohorts. And I see he's engaging in talks. My sense is that Putin is engaging with him and provoking him to believe that the USA is victimizing him. Okay, this has just been recently happening that Putin's been meeting with Iran. I heard the word, I heard the word victimizing. Okay, I sense that Putin will use others as a tool in his ambitious toolbox to gain power. And I think he's already doing this behind the scenes. That's why he's meeting with these leaders. That's why he's up to this, you know. The fact that the two are causing up together spells danger. I heard a caution about the Greens. And I sense these were the Green Peace people. That there is a, an agenda creeping in there with this climate change. It is of the evil one manipulating and sending people into confusion. We know it is God that controls all things. So God controls the planets, right? Uh, I believe God's controlling a lot of the events that are going on at the moment. He's warned us about all these events, you know. Check out their sinister agenda. It is being crafted against us right now. And honestly, seasonally we can see this right now this was prophetic at the time this was september 2019 <clears throat> but right now we are now be seeing this climate agenda coming out right in front of our faces like seriously and i want to mention one thing about this um i saw a headline in in an irish paper two days ago and in this paper they had suggested the, um, okay, there was a uh, there's, there's a guy called Mr. Ryan. He's part of the Green Party here in Ireland, right? And he was suggesting to cull the cattle, um, to reduce emissions like carbon emissions. And there was an outcry in this on this headline. It was saying that there was an it was an outcry against his culling because you know we're already going to are hopping into a recession. We don't need to lose our cattle, do you know? So when I saw that headline, I was like, what? You know, I was shocked. I'll tell you, I was shocked. Um, but we're going to be, we're going to be more and more shocked. Aren't we continuously being shocked lately? Honestly, with the craziness that's going on, you know, crazy things are going on at the moment. Anyway, back to this. We know it is God that controls all things. Okay. There is much plotting and scheming going on in secret places. Economic forum. <laughs> some of these schemes will begin to merge and a clearer picture will come into view so that's interesting there's probably they're probably up to a few different things that are going to merge together well we can see that look what's going on with the banks at the moment has anyone noticed that they're now sh starting to shut down banks like my bank has told me you gotta move you gotta ship out <laughs> my bank just this week i just received notice my bank's shipping out it's closing down so, and my bank is one of many other banks that are closing. So, God had showed me before about credit cards. He showed me this two year, um, about two years ago or a year ago. And he told me the reason they're getting you now, forcing you to use your credit cards. Because you remember there were certain places that said, no, we don't take cash. We just take the card. It was because they're withdrawing the money. That's what the Lord showed me. They are now withdrawing all the money. They're getting rid of the money. That's what they're doing. So this is another one of their agendas. And they're doing that right now as well, right? Along with this. I think that's one of them too. Um, <clears throat> so some of these schemes will begin to merge and a clearer picture will come into view. Their climate change plan has become top of the agenda. It will become their buzzwords for part of their evil conspirings. 
Do not be deceived. Much deception is shifting about. It will only increase as they cover up their own evil schemes. Watch the military bases, the military platforms. Now again, I received this in 2019. And it's telling me, the Lord is saying, watch the military bases and platforms. Their surveillance is satellite monitored. It will be complete surveillance. And then the enemy strategy will unveil. He will close in on societies. It is a drive for ultimate power and control. And we've seen the 5G towers flying up all over the place during the pandemic. How did that come about? In the middle of the pandemic, when we were all closed down, when we were shut down, that's what they were doing. Men are just pawns in his game. He will shift from one player to another as he sees fit. So this is the devil. He, the Lord is highlight. This is he's talking about Satan here, right? That men are just pawns in the devil's game. Okay, the devil will shift from one key player to another. As he sees fit, he uses these people, okay? He will destroy those who become his and make them disposable. The devil don't have no loyalty to nobody, no leader, nobody. He is a ruthless taskmaster, using deception and power, masquerading as an angel of light, but he is a prince of darkness. He is a snare to men's souls. And please, if you're a Christian... The devil is real. Go and look in the scriptures. It's all over the scriptures. Please don't, as a believer, think that the devil is not real. He's the one behind all this, all this chaos and these plans. So promising them liberty, they become slaves of his corruption. So Satan is promising them liberty, power, and probably a whole host of other things, a whole host of lies. Okay, they're all lies, but they become slaves of corruption because of Satan. He leads people into wicked, wicked things, and then he doesn't cough up the prize. He doesn't cough up the reward. <laughs> Those who strive for power are most vulnerable to his seductions, a master of lies and deception. Only those who walk in the light of Jesus Christ can escape his evil snare. So that was powerful. That was civil unrest in Obama 1. Um, I have a video 1 and 2 actually concerning that. But I want to jump on to another one. Um, what was the other one I have here? Do, 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 do. It's the subversion, okay? Um, it's called the subversion. Um, I'm just going to jump into it here. I want to read this to you as well because this is what's going on right now as well. This is very current. I mean, this like these prophecies are now happening, okay? So this um, prophecy I received on the 21st of January, 2021. Um, it's called The Subversion, The Coup Continues, okay? I can't remember what the video was called, but if you look up my videos around that time... Around the 21st of January, 2021, that's when I did the video for this, okay, if you want to see it. So they are selling the people out for political esteem, power, and money. Evil traitors are they, ungodly blasphemers, unrighteous, false liars, they are. Not worthy of Christ's kingdom. This is not just a political takeover, this is a spiritual one. That is really important. It's a spiritual takeover, right? Subversion, sabotage, coup, conspiracy, takeover, propaganda, man-made religion, communism and socialism. Equality is their buzz words. E equal as a commodity. Powerlessness, remove people's intelligence and creativity. They're trying to make us more and more powerless, to be honest. They're trying to take all the power this new world, NWO, okay? The proponents of equality are the destroyers of humanity. So they're making everyone's got to be equal and that's why we've got to accept all this, um, 
you know, agenda, you know, like the transgender agenda. That's all involved in all this. Trust me, it is. Because anything, anything that's abomination to the Lord and that kind of sin, that's kind of lifestyle. And, you know, God loves every person, but he does not love immorality, nor does he love homosexuality or anything. It's a perversion. That's what the Bible talks about. That's the way it says it, 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 God doesn't like, doesn't approve of it. So anything that, that brings all that kind of, it's abominable to God, Satan is using. So you can be sure all of this is all part of it. Um, okay, where am I? So the proponents of equality are the destroyers of humanity, destruction under their reign. So what is the socialism and communism? The dictates of the elite telling us who we are, propaganda, censorship. Tech giants have been directed and controlled. The witches in the White House. This is what, all, what I feel the Lord has shown me. Jezebel infiltration. who And Jezebel usurps true authority. And White House sabotage. These are all the words that God gave to me. And I think this was it was very appropriate at the time. <clears throat> so this is what I got, what was going on behind the scenes, right? Obama is so busy right now. So many talks and discussions. So Obama is working behind the scenes. This is what the Lord has continued to show me. Even though we don't see him in the headlines, we don't hear about what he's doing or saying, but God continuously shows me what is going on with him. All right? He is a traitor of the USA. He never had any rights to the USA. A crooked stick and no authority given by God. Watch how they subvert the Constitution. They will sabotage it and end the authority of its rule. Uh, and along with it, cast out the laws made on the grounds of godliness and true justice. Obama has lustful eyes for power and greed. He sweetened many with his charm and coercion. Many leaders won over to his subversion, giving out rewards to his covetous friends. Sweet rewards that power can give them. So probably territories as well, you know. He hands them a piece of his pie. Great new ideals and plans. Economic forum. The forerunner for the subversion. And... You know, I wouldn't, I didn't know this knowledge by myself. The Lord showed me all of this, right? They should never have let these players play their game of dice. It has a lethal agenda. Watch how the nations tumble like chimney stacks. The high rises of the cities fall down. To what great measures they go to, formulating their covert plans to fulfill their own wishes. The schemes of men to produce the new and final Babel. NWO. Okay. Babel is the city of Babylon. You might say the devil's capital. The devil is in all the details, all the schemes, plots, and plans. He has schemed every one. He's vax he's vaxes, okay? A genius game, he thinks. Always a step ahead with his ploys of fear and control. While the church sleeps, he continues on in his scheming plans, working under the radar, right under your noses, working in plain sight, 5G the linchpin for his success, worldwide control through his spider web, wide web, for that is what it is. It is a web to ensnare humans, a mass spider web, and he is the spider himself, Satan. Some players that have been highlighted to me up to now, right? These are the players that God highlighted specifically to, to me. Emmanuel and Macron. And at that time, God said to me, go and see what's going on with France. This was a couple of years ago. And at that time, the prime minister was being changed and Emmanuel Macron came in and it was like God highlighted him to me, like, watch that, you know, notice that. Trudeau, was another person the Lord highlighted to me. I heard his name all night one night. Couldn't stop hearing the word Trudeau, Trudeau, Trudeau all through the night. Didn't know who it was. And in the morning, I looked it up on Google, found out that it was the Canadian president, right? To my amazement. <laughs> okay, the Duke of Edinburgh, who's recently passed away, but I believe he had a very strong leadership role in regards to the elite. And Prince Charles, okay? 
This convoluted political agenda is a web. This economic forum is to take down governments, hiding behind a cover for climate preservation, change of new ideals and new resources. It is mind control and a dangerous game. It is subversion on the highest level. Some countries will crash from it. There will be continual riots and clashes due to it as people wake up and see what is really happening. And we've already begun to see this. We've all, I mean, look what's going on in Sri Lanka right now. Clashes going on. Um, the, pre the president, the prime minister, the leader anyway, has, I think, has stepped down. It, the Italian prime minister has, been, has resigned. Boris Johnson has resigned. <clears throat> so there's a lot going on at the moment. Certain leaders will be duped and suddenly dethroned from their official posts. Like, who's going to do this? Satan will do that. He will take out leaders who have been voted in democratically. And I think he's just taking people out, you know. Through lies, deception and coercion. It will be all around. These lies and deceptions are not just impacting the masses. They are impacting those in positions of leadership and authority. Obama is an imposter and behind the scenes in secret, he behaves like one and pulls the rug from under these civil leaders. Isn't that an interesting one? They are left in shock at what has taken place. Their authority has been subverted and sabotaged and they did not see it coming. They will be ousted and flipped aside watch for political changes the political changes are happening now this is the current season for what this word of word that i receive from the lord is actually happening right <clears throat> i hear keep them in lockdown those in power are already giving the orders and i clearly hear a male voice saying this this it is sober and commanding in its tone it is a mandatory instruction Therefore, everything else we are seeing right now is a smokescreen to pacify the people. So at that time, we had come out of lockdown and we were experiencing some level of, of freedom at that time. And then if you remember, we went into a second lockdown. So I was hearing this just before we went into the second lockdown. <clears throat> London is burning. London is calling and no one helps her. Unbelievable. If we were told it before now, we wouldn't have believed it. What can believers do? Pray for revival. Pray for the moving of God's Holy Spirit. Pray for the end time revival and church awakening. Preach the gospel. Reach the lost while you still can. They may not hear now, but they will hear the Holy Spirit call them in the future, in the near future. And I have Psalm 37, Psalm 27, and 2 Peter Two, chapter 2 regarding Obama okay um all right I'll just I'll, I'll just leave it there the other thing where it says here London is burning London is calling and no one helps her you know I believe like when you know a lot of the countries like a lot of us were in lockdown <clears throat> during the pandemic season um our economies were they were failing. Businesses were just going to the, the floor and they haven't recovered. They still haven't recovered. Some businesses are never going to recover. Um, and it's funny because my daughter had had a dream about an airplane and I have it in one of my videos. And she told me, she said, Mom, I saw this airplane just crashing into this estate, like a housing estate. And it was on flames and it was on fire and, you know, it was all broken up and everything. But nobody was going to, to help the people or sort out this plane and all this, this fire and commotion and trauma that it, that it was causing. And she said it was just like everyone was saying, no, 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 we'll come back to it tomorrow. We'll deal with it tomorrow. We can't do it now. And everyone was agree in agreement with it and was going along with that. And she said to me, it was like something had happened to the people that they couldn't see what was really happening with this plane and with this crash, you know? And honestly, that was such an amazing um, dream that she had because to me it perfectly describes the pandemic and how the pandemic has, tra you know, caused trauma into our societies, into our nations, you know, is caused economic trauma, it's caused um, mental trauma. It's caused a massive increase in suicide. It's caused 
um, massive casualties in um, hospitals where people have died because of not being able to receive treatments because of the COVID pandemic, right? And um, it's just had such a mass trauma event on our nations. And it's funny, like, from one day then to the next day, it was like, pandemic's over, everything, is it's finished. Never a discussion or a word or a talk or anything about it. And yet this awful trauma has happened to our nation. So I thought that was so, um, it was such a, an, a, it was such a, a very, very good visual interpretation of what's happened to us, you know. So when I say London is burning, uh, that was what came to me as well. The economy has just been, you know, everything, you know, it's what's gone on. So I just want to bring those to your attention because um, I think they're very relevant to current situations right now. Um, this is all going down, you know, um, the NWO, we're still working. The, all this agenda is going to come together. And as this prophecy said, it, that it will all merge and we'll begin to see a picture. And I believe that's what's going to happen. Um, so I'll come back again um, to discuss maybe some of my videos and my prophecies about other events that will happen. Uh, meanwhile, God bless you all. Um, stay well and I'll speak to you again. Bye.